Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 16th, 2019. So yesterday we had really just a disappointing day, something I was kind of warning about, you know, as we rally up and test resistance levels, we have to be a little bit careful because we know there could always be bears lurking up there. And uh, unfortunately, we had a little bit of a pop and drop yesterday, pop up in the morning, a uh, little gap up and a pullback on the day, but nothing technically damaged um, the market at all yesterday. And the small morning we're seeing bullishness activity really really strong bullish activity as earnings continue to roll in this morning so let's take a look at what's going on here in the chart first if you take a look we have i have this downtrend drawn here on the chart you can see we have three connecting points here um, right there on that chart showing that potential of resistance right there that we must try to find a way to conquer. And as you can see at this morning's open, it looks like we're going to break higher break above that right now current futures are up 144 points looking strong here and we may start reaching out for these all-time high prints in the market so we reach up here we can test that high and then maybe even move on through testing that high you know we we've we've had such an impressive three-month rally it would be really disappointing I think if the bulls don't find enough energy uh, to get up here but but that doesn't mean that we should just blindly jump into the breach because there could certainly be at any point in time up here a line of defense here remember the bears don't like to give up ground easily and there could be a fight zone up in here as we test those resistance levels so I always want to caution on the idea of chasing into a gap up open you if you chase into that open you get all wound up in the morning chase into that gap up only to find sellers up there um, we have to be careful so what we want to do is we want to wait and make sure after the morning open that actual buyers are stepping up to support that price and you know and we've had recent you know recent um, evidence of that occurring you know there's a gap up right there that only found sellers after that open we had a gap up right here found sellers after that open remember these over here gap up into high prints and resistance levels and we find sellers so what we want to do is we want to watch that really really closely after the morning opens and wait and see if buyers actually step in and start pushing the market higher from there pre-market guys can really pump this market up get everybody excited about jumping in and then start selling it off i don't expect that but I always want to be prepared for that possibility. This morning, everything is just looking uh, pretty darn rosy. After a day where we just couldn't move, bulls and bears couldn't do anything yesterday, all of a sudden those bulls are very, very inspired. Asian markets were higher across the board last night and European markets are mostly higher this morning as um, these earnings reports continue to roll in. Now, as of this morning, as of recording this, um, there may be more of them that have reported, but like Johnson & Johnson has already reported this morning and indicating a nice gap up this morning on J&J. &J. And of course, that will help um, the, the Dow. But then at the same time, BAC, whoops, not BAX, BAC reported earnings and they're indicating kind of flat. They beat on the top line, but they're kind of flat here this morning after their earnings reports as these um, uh, 
financials tend uh, continue to show a little bit of struggling going on here in those financials. So as these earnings come in, we'll um, we'll see more and more um, activity in the market. But right now we have a very good bullish sentiment in the market and looking just pretty darn good. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. SPY, um, we had this resistance level here that we were dealing with yesterday. You can see the price resistance that right there in that where we're pushing up next to that price resistance and now this morning it looks like we're going to pop through that if we can pop through remember popping through is one thing holding it is another we can always reach out but whether we can hold on to that next handle that'll that's the the important thing so as we move up let's watch and pay attention if we can hold on to that handle up there and and hang in on that i think we will i really do like i said i think it would be really disappointing to um, have such an impressive run up and then not attack these highs up here and i think we have a real good chance that we'll be reaching out for those highs in the spy. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, um, really strong this morning. NASDAQ is looking very, very bullish. You can see there's an opportunity that the NASDAQ is within striking distance of an all-time high close. We only need to move a little bit higher and close up here to have that all-time high close. Not an all-time high print, but an all-time high close. If we can push even further beyond that, obviously new record highs could be achieved in the NASDAQ. But let's not ignore the possibility, just like we found here. We reach up there and we find sellers. So as we push and reach, we want to watch that resistance closely. We want to respect that resistance. If there is bears up there, we have to be a little bit cautious uh, just in case they start coming in um, at that level. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is the one, the index that's really lagging behind and it's struggling here, struggling through these resistance areas in the chart. Yesterday had a bit of a bearish engulfing candle, as a matter of fact. So, what do we do here? Well, we have kind of an interesting pattern going on in this chart. We have that possibility of that W type pattern bottom here. And a consolidation across here would not be a bad thing at all. But if we happen to be able to pop out with this energy today, if we can actually pop out, then we'll look at next resistance levels here in the chart as we push up. So let's keep an eye on that today. There could be, um, well, it'll just be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if we can actually push on through that resistance here with the bullishness that we're seeing in the market today. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. VIX yesterday had a well a little bit of a uh, little bit of fear that creeped in early on. We were uh, moving up as we started to sell off um, yesterday on that pop and drop, but as the afternoon moved on and those bulls came back in and started pushing back up toward uh, toward the close of the day, um, all of that fear seemed to sink away, and we're back down here. Um, testing this level. Now keep in mind this morning we should uh, move substantially lower on the VIX. If fear, if we do happen to, to see fear kind of catch in here and start to rally, we that's where that pop and drop pattern can occur. We gap up in the morning, sellers take over, and, and then that fear starts to creep up in the market. So we'll want to Pay close attention to that, but I don't. I don't want to um, be leading everyone to this idea that to only be fearful um, of the market right now. The VIX is not showing any fear. It might be showing some complacency, but it's not showing um, fear at the moment. Let's take a look at T twenty one twenty two. T twenty one is that four week new high, new low ratio, and you know this is one of those indicators that just works 
Um, it doesn't tell us exactly where the market is going to go, when it's going to go there, but it does give us these clues when we have reached, uh, you know, maybe overbought or oversold conditions. And, and that's what it's good for. It's just looking for those overbought, oversold conditions. If we take a look here, we moved down slightly yesterday, and that really gives us an opportunity. To, uh, we have space, I guess what I want to say. We have space to move up. We can certainly move all the way up into this, this area. And you can see as we move up there, then we start to risk that whole potential of being a little bit stretched, a little bit overbought. Let's keep in mind that what this also tells us is we have a big open space to the downside. So the more we stretch up here, and this morning we're getting a good stretch, being up here um, right now, almost 150 points in the gap up this morning. We're getting a good stretch here, so let's watch and make sure there's not a line of bears up here um, ready to defend this level, pushing us back down. So we'll wanna watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a couple things to just be made aware of. Nothing um, that I would expect to really move the market around a ton, but we do have industrial production. Consensus is suggesting that um, industrial production will see an increase this month. So that's a good sign that we're seeing those industries uh, pick up and, and um, workers are going to you know remain busy so that's a good sign and then we have housing market index that we want to keep an eye on have a few um, bond announcements here and then we do have a fed speaker here too this afternoon just to be made aware of unlikely to move the market around so let's keep an eye on those economic events today more than anything else what we have to be keeping an eye on is the earnings reports and those earnings reports continue to roll in and all of a sudden the futures have just made another new high for the day now looking at a 150 point gap up bullish 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 uh, this morning so um, big tech earnings this afternoon you're gonna want to pay attention to that IBM take a look at IBM IBM this morning uh, or tomorrow, this afternoon is expecting to report now IBM being a big tech you can see we're we're testing a major resistance level in this chart. A good report could send us higher here and maybe even test this big, long downtrend that's been going on. It seems like forever in IWM, that downtrend, maybe we can even start looking at an opportunity to move higher there and test that level. Take a look at Netflix. Netflix is also reporting today and, and um, will also be reporting today and it's it's had a pullback after the announcement of the disney streaming service it's had a pullback this morning it's looking to gap up even ahead of earnings be really careful here as this moves back toward price resistance uh, gambling on earnings in netflix just really seems foolish to me at this point so watch this really close if we get a really good report and pop through here then there may be an opportunity to trade it after the fact but gambling around that earnings report seems pretty foolhardy to me um i kind of like my money more than that uh, <laughs> gambling on something like that let's take a look here and i, I um before I go any further, let me just say, um, hey, I want to wish everyone a great day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, you guys are just... Uh, I, I just can't even say thank you enough for everyone who takes the time to do that. You know, obviously putting out a video every day takes quite a little bit of effort. It takes quite a little bit of time. And I truly, truly appreciate those who take the time 
to acknowledge that effort, you know, clicking that thumbs up, leaving, leaving that brief comment. And it can be the briefest of comments. And that's one of those things, uh, comments and thumbs up is what helps uh, YouTube show these videos to more people. So thank you to those who do that. My purpose of these is just to really help everyone do a better job in their market preparation. You know, after trading for nearly 30 years now um, and over 14 years full time, I know that preparation is far more important than luck. So taking the time to do that work, knowing how you want to approach the market for the day is extremely important. N please notice that I, I do this without prediction. I am not trying to predict anything. I'm looking at the technicals of the chart and trying to um, uh, ferret out the things that I need to be watchful of throughout the day so that I know how to prepare the risk that I want to take for the day. If you find that helpful, please do me a favor as well. Click that share button and, and share that over on your Facebook feed and Twitter feed and, and things like that. That also helps a ton. So thank you to everyone who does that kind of thing. Now let's take a look at what we could potentially be looking at here for some trades that are looking really, really good. Um, take a look at PepsiCo. Now, PepsiCo, we have a little bit of a problem here. PepsiCo is going to be reporting on the 17th tomorrow. But PepsiCo, really nice move, break out here in a beautiful trend. You might want to keep an eye on PepsiCo as a potential and just keep in mind those that earnings is coming on the same in the same field take a look at coca-cola coke getting a little bit of inspiration here kind of popping up through this resistance and maybe even has an opportunity to start working on this gap um, also keep in mind that both of these are in that consumer defensive sector seeing some of those consumer defensive stocks starting to creep up here and looking pretty good so you might want to keep an eye on those um, as well take a look at MDLZ. Uh, by the way, just full disclosure, Rightway Options is in a Coca-Cola position and already have a substantial profit in that trade. We're also in MDLZ and MDLZ looking pretty good uh, moving through this resistance yesterday and maybe seeing some of those defensive stocks maybe picking up in these charts. So kind of keep an eye on some of those defensive companies. We're, we're holding this trade as well. And so far looking just pretty darn good um, overall. Um, let's take a look at some of the some a few other charts that may be you know um, showing some signs of a bullishness here. One would be GIS. Uh, General Mills really nice trend here just holding trend beautifully and all set and ready to go to pop out or break out now it doesn't have to break out here this has been up for quite a while and this is a substantial breakout of a resistance area but that doesn't mean that we can't make another test of this support down here so we, we want to watch that closely um, in that trade and i want to you know um, one of the things that i think um, a lot of folks that that post on YouTube and Facebook, uh, they want you to believe that they never lose a trade, that there's never a problem in the market. I want everyone to understand that that's just not the case. Um, I was in ATVI. ATVI um, was a beautiful trade setup, holding above support, nice little consolidating move and yesterday i got stopped out just like everyone else does you know so this is real trading guys this isn't blowing smoke telling you that i'm some kind of a genius um, in the market this is real real trading and um, sometimes the patterns just don't work out sometimes you you don't make that trade happen but just please keep in mind that for every one of these that might fail we get trades in in stuff like um nvidia that same kind of pattern getting in here on that nvidia trade making a huge profit in that position and trades like qualcomm whoops where we enter positions right in here after breaking that downtrend holding support 
and making great profits in that trade. So please keep in mind that for every trade pattern that fails, as long as we do our, our due diligence and work really, really hard on our trading, the majority work out. And so that's what we wanna pay attention on. And just realize that um, not every trade, not every um, trade is going to work. And I want everyone to know, it's really important for me to, to let you know that all of the charts that I talk about in these videos are meant for meant for building a watch list not a not a recommendation to buy or sell okay and kind of keep that in mind you might also want to take a look at charts like bby bby has been up here testing this major resistance getting this little pullback in here but notice how controlled this pullback is and this morning it may move a little bit higher so we want to watch bby in these beautiful trends holding up in areas like this and stocks that um, could be um, ready to perform at any time. So lots of good potentials charts out there. Uh, Target being one, now Target again, earnings coming on the 22nd, but Target, beautiful chart, testing its long-term downtrend here and holding in a beautiful trend, beautiful bullish engulfing candle yesterday, suggesting follow through and it looks like this morning, it's looking for a little bit of a gap up here in, in that. So starting to see some of those retail stocks moving up a little bit here as well so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and everyone I want you to just um, if you're struggling as a trader just never give up just keep working at this business it takes a while it's hard um, it's hard to get through the details and learn to just calm down and watch the price action stop predicting and just follow what the market is telling you it takes a little time but it is worth it everyone take care of yourself have an awesome day I wish you all great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning take care now. Oh, 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 oh,